Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are the romance books that I will hopefully be reading in November. November is here. I'm so excited. We're towards the end of the year. Here are all the books that I will hopefully be reading next month. As always, I have my little checklist next to me. I like to give myself like prompts and challenges every month. So we're gonna be referencing that. Um, first, I would love to mention Tiffany and I's book club pick. Tiffany and I from Tiff Talks Pages, we run the Be Me Up book club, which is a monster and alien book club. We meet once a month here on YouTube and we chat about the book that we picked. So we picked Full Moon Rising by Ruby Dixon. Of course we had to pick a Ruby. I think this is our first Ruby book for our book club, which is so surprising that we've been doing this for so many months and we have not picked a Ruby book yet. <laughs> we both love her so much. So this is her newest release. This came out in October and it has to do with a Minotaur and we both pre-ordered the special edition or hardback edition. I don't know if it's a special edition, but it's the hardback version and this is what it looks like there's like a step back and a beautiful naked cover like i'm so excited i don't even know what it's about tiffany doesn't even know what it's about <laughs> but we're so excited to read this so um i do think we have the date already planned so be sure to check out like my instagram to know more details but we will be meeting towards the end of november we're so excited for this book i I'm so excited. For a romance book with disability representation, I have Just Like Breathing. This was actually recommended to me by an author recently. I went to a book signing in San Antonio called Wanderlust, and I have a little booklet that I bring with me every single time I go to a book signing. And when authors are signing my books, I also ask them to recommend me any book that they love, romance book that they love, to recommend it to me in my little booklet that they sign. I actually have a video coming up next month in November for my channel members. You can check out channel memberships down below, by the way but they get to see me look up all the books that those authors recommend to me. So Sarah Kate recommended me a book. Avery Kingston recommended me this book that I'm about to talk about. We have Chantel Tessier recommended me a book. So I have a bunch of recommendations from authors that I saw at that signing. This was one of them. Avery Kingston knows that I love books with disability representation. Like all of her books have disability rep. So she knows that I love them. So she recommended me this book. I have no idea what it's about, so let's learn about it. This is the romance between Arden and Flash. According to Arden, one moment, one twist of fate's cruel hand and I lost everything. My soul broke into a million pieces. I didn't know how to put them back together until him. He dragged me through hell and brought me back. But when he saw the person behind the destruction, he hesitated. Flash. It didn't take more than a few seconds for the life I knew to crash and burn. With no anchor, I reached out. I didn't expect to grab onto someone more broken than me. But when she exhaled the first breath of air into my lungs, I knew damn well I wasn't good enough for her. The only question was how long could I hold on? I don't know what the disability representation is. That summary seems very vague, but I totally trust Avery Kingston. She also recommended me Rush by Emma Scott, and we both love that book. I've already read that one. So like, if this is anything like Rush, I'm going to be in love. Next, I want to pick up a book from my Kindle library. I haul a lot of free books every single month. So let's try and read some books. <laughs> um, this one, the cover definitely got me, but it's also an MMF romance. So yeah, this is Structural Damage by Sloane Spencer. This is on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested in checking it out as well. This is apparently a cozy romance with BDSM elements. It's queer, there will be spicy scenes that are MM, MF, and MMF. And they also list trigger warnings in this description. This one's about Cora who has a lot on her plate. She's the CEO of her late father's architecture firm, takes care of her mother, is amid a major lawsuit and is doing everything she can to control her life. But when Jay, the man she had one wild night with, shows up at her office as the new human resources director, she has to try even harder to control her feelings. As Jay and Cora grow their working relationship, so does their attraction to one another. But when Jay sets up a massage appointment for Cora with a male massage therapist he knows very well, she can't help but fall for him too. Was this Jay's plan all along? Can these men help Cora relax and relinquish control? That sounds so fun. It's only 300 pages, so I feel like it's gonna be a great time to just escape to. Look at how beautiful this cover is. I'm in love. Next, I have a book off of your physical TBR. At that Wanderlust signing, I also met Daisy Jane. I got three books from her and this was one that I picked out. Look at this. This is the alternative edition, the one without the man on the cover. I don't think she had the man cover ones there. I can't remember. Um, but this one was just calling my name. This is a single mom romance and I think there is a certain type of kink in here that I've been wanting to read about. 
so <laughs> yeah um daisy jane was so sweet so i definitely want to read one of her books in november next i have a historical romance so this is actually going to be a reread for me i'm going to be rereading scandal in spring by lisa Claypus. here's the beautiful step back i love this one um this is going to be the second to last book in our wallflower read-along this is a read-along hosted by b from mama needs through romance christy rachel and tiffany i'll link all my ladies down below um but we're rereading the wallflower series i can't remember whose channel this is going to be on next month i can't recall off the top of my head this is the last book in like the four main books the last one is a christmas novella that we're also going to be reading um but this is the romance with daisy and her love interest and this one is so fun and so cute so if you want to read these books with us be sure to join us in november for a book that i got off of libby i have unsteady by peyton Corinne. This one has been in my Libby holds for so sticking along because I know this book is very popular. I believe this is a romance between a hockey player and a figure skater and the hockey player has experienced accident on the ice I think and he has a lot of anxiety skating again and the heroine kind of like helps him through that and that's all I really know but I'm excited. I know Tori loves this book, Tori from Novel Life, and I really trust her recommendation, so I can't wait to read this one. Next, I want to read an author backlist. I have Wed to the Orc by Layla Faye. I love Miss Layla, so I've been wanting to read the books that I haven't read yet by her. And this is just a short little novella, so when I want to read a short little novella, I can just pick this one up during November. I don't know what this one's about, but this is a part of her um, like Arranged Monster, Monster Mates series, which is about human women getting genetically matched to their, like, perfect match that's a monster so i believe our human heroine gets matched to an orc i would love to continue series that i've already started so this next book comes in on my libby in november this is you're the problem it's you by emma l Alb r albon i think that's the author's name i'm so sorry um but i read her first book in this series a few months ago and i actually loved it and this one's an mm romance that's what it seems to be so i'm excited i have no idea what it's about but i really 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 love book number one now i have a book that i've never heard about before and an author i've never heard about before so i found this one on my libby and it comes in during november this is breaking Haley by ia dice it has pretty good ratings with a 4.3 average on goodreads it is a dark academia enemies to lovers mafia romance in the first book in a series. It's also on Kindle Unlimited. So it looks like Haley gets sent to an elite boarding college after two years worth of memories are lost. But soon her memories start rushing back and it's obvious she's not at the boarding college to heal. She's there to hide. And then our other main character is Carter and he claims that Haley deserves pain. I don't know what this is about, but like it seems dark and I'm in that dark mood and I very rarely get dark romances on my Libby. So I'm excited for that one. For a hyped book, I have a novel love story by Ashley Poston. I've only read her young adult books. So I'm excited for this one. I know I keep saying I'm excited to read all these books. I need to come up with a different word than excited. <laughs> but my friend Keely over at Vampire Keely, I'll link her down below. Um, she recommended me this book. We're very similar people and she loves this book and just feels like it's perfect for us in our time and our lives. So I'm, I'm up for it. She loves Ashley Poston. So I hopefully will love this one as much as she does. For a 2024 new release, Magical Meet Cute by Jean Meltzer comes out in my Libby also. Um, this one already came out in October, um, but I get my Libby hold in November. I don't know what this is about. It has something to do with the Jewish culture though. All of her books do. And I loved one of her books. What is it called? Kissing Kosher. I loved Kissing Kosher. Um, I read that one, I think, was it earlier this year or last year? I can't remember, but I loved that one. And I hope I love this one just as much, but I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> and lastly, I have a monster or alien romance, which I have chosen Wings of Desire by Leona Wilde. This cover, can we talk about it for a second? Cause it is, whew. welcome to Asgul where everything is out to eat you. Echo is a lab assistant, part of the USS Peony, tasked with the mission of terraforming Asgul, a planet without suns. A mysterious mothman named Exorius, Exorius 
becomes Echo's greatest salvation when the crew's camp is attacked during their one night of revelry. She never expected that touching his delicate wings would communicate so much more than she bargained for. Exerius is a fierce protector, but he never expected to rescue this tasty little bug. <laughs> She's loud, headstrong, and everything he's ever wanted. When she touches his wings, signaling that she wants to mo more than just protection, he realizes he will do anything to keep her safe from the dangers of his world. Their worlds become entangled in a dance between duty and desire. Exerius's gentle touch and protective nature ignite passion and echo she's never felt before. But she knows the military won't stand for the violence against her people. Would the shadows that linger ruin their chances at a happily ever after? And apparently this is a prequel novella with a cliffhanger. So good thing they put that in there because I would not have been expecting that. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be reading next month in November. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a dog emoji in the comment section down below because my dog is eating something she should not right now. And so I'm going to go put her in her kennel. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.